Hello everyone and welcome back to Top 7 Rec, where we dive into the world of entertainment and enjoy together. In this video, we'll count down our top picks for K-dramas to watch from 2006 to 2007. Now, let's begin. <laughs> Number 7. Tree of Heaven. Main leads Park Shin Hai, Lee Wan, Asami Reina, Uchida Asahi. I usually do not become emotional over a drama movie, but this one caught my heart. I'm still obsessed with Lee Wan. Tree of Heaven is so sad that I watched it multiple times, but each time I couldn't even bear the sadness of this drama. This is a really painful, but beautiful drama. The music is a great masterpiece, I love everything about this great drama. You should watch it so that you can feel the pain that Yoon Su and Hannah felt. I recommend this drama to everyone, it worths watching, though it is painful, but yet still wonderful. I'm just obsessed with this really sad drama. Even thinking about it makes me sad. I love it. And I think you will too. It's only 10 episodes that you'll definitely enjoy each one of them. It won't be a waste of drama time at all. Number 6. Time Between Dog and Wolf. Main leads, Lee Jun Ji, Yung Kyung Ho, Nam Sang Mi, Choi Jae Sung. This is one of the most exciting dramas I've ever watched. One of my ultimate top favorite dramas. The story itself is pretty interesting and extremely absorbing. There are tons of action, funny scenes, and sweet moments in this movie. Every episode captures your attention in a way that makes you want more. The casts are amazing. You'll get attached to many of the characters. In particular, Lee Jun Ki did an amazing job. You get to see his array of acting skills because of his character transformation. The music is suitable. This is a series that I would surely want to watch again in the future. This one is definitely worth watching. Number 5. Gong. Main leads Yoon Eun Hai, Ju Ji Hoon, Song Ji Hyo, Kim Young Hoon. I would have loved this 10 years ago. The premise is pretty cute, though a little weak threaded. Modern monarchy in South Korea arranged a marriage between a charming, oddball, commoner, and the aloof, jerky prince, and some members of the inner palace strife over the throne. This is a really fascinating drama and oh my god, Ju Ji Hoon is very hot there. I love this drama very much. It is cute, romantic, funny, and sometimes sad. Yoon Noon Hai is also pretty. The characters play their role very well. I often hear people say that this drama is too long, and I can easily understand why. But to me, the length of this drama has its reasons. It lets the characters evolve slowly in a subtle and almost natural way. We get to perfectly understand the two leads. It also allows their relationship to be more complicated than a simple, why don't you love me, I love you, even if at first I hated you. The story is very original, there is a place for cuteness, drama, comedy, a great second female lead, and beautiful couple scenes. What's not to love? Anyway, I had a fun time watching this drama, so I recommend you watch it. Number 4. Lee San. Main leads Lee Seo Jin, Lee Jong Su, Han Ji Min. It's a fascinating story of a hard-working king, who loves his people with all his heart. He is truly one of Korea's greatest rulers. Lee San is a highly absorbing historical epic that everyone should try watching it. It is based on the real life of the highly regarded King of Joseon, Korea, but with the addition of a bunch of fictional characters and plots to make it more entertaining. It starts with Lee San as a child, trying to save his father, Crown Prince Sado, from being killed by his grandfather, and goes all the way through his life until the end. 
It's a 77 hour long series, which is almost fully exciting. It has thrilling action scenes, heartwarming love interests, and compelling characters that you will miss when you are done watching. Number 3. Thank you. Main leads, Jang Hyuk, Gong Hyo Jin, SEO Shin Ae, Shin Sung Rock. Thank You is one of those romantic slash sad types of dramas that managed to gain my attention. This drama has a charming story. I love the main character Jang Hyuk, whom I encountered for the first time. The fact that the subject matter, covered, HIV, also contributed to it being an amazing story. I fell in love with the young child actor, SEO Shin Ae, who amazingly plays the young daughter, Lee Bom. I truly tend to watch and follow her career. The story covered every aspect of the life of a person dealing with HIV in Korea, the fear of being found out, the reaction of others when they do find out, and the pain and suffering that the patient goes through, especially as a young child. Couple this with a seriously tortured soul, Jang Hyuk's character Min Jie Seo, added to the phenomenal acting displayed. I cannot forget Kong Hyo Jin, who plays the mother, Lee Young Shin. In her story, she is not only dealing with parenting, but also with raising a child with such an illness. Amazing story and clever act are the reasons that made me a lifetime fan of Jang Hyuk. Number 2. Jamung. Main leads, Song Il Guk, Han Hai Jin, Kim Sung Su. Jamung was my gateway drama. It was like someone handed me 81 packs of drugs and said, go for it. Epic in all the best ways, it shamelessly gets its inspiration from adventure stories ranging from the Odyssey to the Three Kingdoms to Robin Hood. Traversing decades of time and miles of gorgeous mountain scenery as it crams in battles, family strife, romance, betrayal, and the occasional heavenly portent. It has a sweeping, old-school Hollywood feel, but with modern touches that include a smart, independent heroine and a transgender character who gets to have an adorable romantic relationship with the most unlikely of partners. The plotlines may hardly be original, but the complexity of the main characters gives the old stories a freshness and power they would otherwise lack. Song Il Guk does a fine job as the young prince destined to find an empire, but my favorite actors, and characters, were Hu Jun Ho as the grizzled veteran Hamosu and Jun Kwang Ryo as the tormented King Kumwa. Who exudes presence every moment he's on screen, and Jun's portrayal of the king's increasingly conflicted and destructive loyalties is devastating. The show also uses its length cleverly to completely draw us into the web of relationships. Many of its most powerful scenes are not the giant battles, but the quiet moments where a truth unfolds, or a lie is uncovered, or a heart breaks. Does everything go well? No. The plot twists in the final third, with wild goose chases down the narrative line, seems to be designed to kill time rather than deliver meaningful revelations. I could have lived without the saccharine pop ballad love songs on endless repeat and you could get rip-roaring drunk in no time if you took a shot whenever someone stages an ambush, falls off a cliff, discusses an evil plan around an ornate wooden table, or survives getting shot by multiple arrows. However, if you're looking for ridiculously immersive popular entertainment and don't mind sleep deprivation, you're in for a hell of a ride. Just be careful, this whole drama thing can be addictive. Number 1. Coffee Prince. Main leads, Gong Yu, Yoon Eun Hai, Lee Sun Kyun. I believe Coffee Prince is way too magical, but it's still one of the best K-dramas I've ever watched. Let's face it, the reality of a girl passing as a man in a way that almost everyone around her believes it, is a bit far-fetched. That is the basis for this drama. All of the comedy, drama, angst, and love in this drama are built upon this unlikely scenario. The reason this drama pulls it off and makes it possible for you to suspend disbelief, is because every other situation in it is grounded in everyday reality. From the starting point, Coffee Prince continues its excellent storytelling. Eun Chan isn't looking for love. She is only trying to survive. When she meets Choi Han Jul, 
her whole world begins to tilt on its axis. Because the writer and actors do such a wonderful job with their characters, it sucked me in right from the start to the end. Coffee Prince isn't about high angst. Its dramatic tension is about the budding of deep love, the fear of telling the truth, the question of whether love knows the gender, and mostly, it's about forgiveness. This drama worked for me because somehow the director, writer, and actors made me feel like a comfortable spectator in every scene, witnessing the story unravels. I cannot emphasize enough how absorbing and well-written this story is, from the beginning, all the way through the end. The side characters of this drama are just as delightful as the leads, which doesn't happen so often. Just be careful not to fall in love with Lee Sun Jiun as Choi Han Song. This show has a one-episode extension which prolonged the end just a little bit but does not drag it down. 17 episodes total, thank goodness this drama seemed well-plotted all along the way. Gong Yu and Yu Eun Hai are wonderful and have amazing chemistry. And not just them, it is a rare thing and any drama or movie comes along and somehow the whole cast seems perfectly fit for one another. Whether it be lovers, family, or friends, this drama truly has that quality. If you haven't taken the funny, touching, and magical ride of Coffee Prince, please jump on board. Every minute of it worths watching, I promise. Even after my fifth watch I still find things I adore about this show. That's it for this video. Please note that this list is only based on my opinion and is not an absolute truth. We would love to read your opinions in the comments section, and if you liked this video, please take a moment to smash the like button and subscribe. We also have selected two of our best related videos.